Great. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching this Q&A video with the most asked questions from our community. My name is Martin. I'm VP of Growth. And I would like to also want to introduce Tiger and Sota. So, uh, Sota, can you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Sota Watanabe. I'm founder of AESA and also Shiden Network. Yeah, uh, very excited to be here. Thank you, Martin. You're welcome. Tiger, can you little, can you introduce yourself? Hi, uh, I'm uh, Toga. I'm uh, the ambassador of uh, Esta Network. Uh, I've been uh, 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 with the community for more, I think, almost one year. So I'm uh, I, I like it to be here. Okay, thanks a lot, Toga, for being here. Actually, this video is created to help a little bit Toga with the community support because a lot of questions are are asked every minute um almost the same so it's pretty um time consuming so with this video we want to make sure that everyone got like the basic idea um of shaden and now with the exchanges that are coming for shaden as well a lot of new users are coming to our ecosystem and we want to educate them um, about shaden network and one of the most common question was what's the difference between a shaded and a star um our ecosystem is called the star ecosystem and in the star ecosystem we have um, a star and shaded and as you can see on this um, image you can see that shaded is connected to the kusama relay chain and a star network will be connected to the polka dot relay chain so at this stage, it's not possible for any project to be um, connected to the Polkadot relay chain because Polkadot now does not accept power chains. So that auction still has to come. Um, but the auctions are already launched on Kustama. We obtained the third slot as a power chain and we are now um, onwalling the Shaden network on top of the Kustama relay chain. In case you have questions about the Polkadot ecosystem and the Kusama ecosystem, I recommend you to go to um, the, the wiki of Polkadot. There's a lot of great articles there that explains the whole ecosystem. And um, it's best to educate yourself about the ecosystem if you have questions about, about this. But the main part is Shaden is on Kusama and the star will be on Polkadot. Um, why there are two chains? This is actually because um, you cannot go for a slot on Polkadot if you have not proven yourself um, on Kusama. So it was very important for us also to educate our project how to run crowd loans, uh, power chains, how to um, get everything going on the development side as well as a power chain. So that was very important for us to have like a slot on Kusama because this will prepare us to go on Polkadot. This is just a little brief introduction about what is Shaden Network. So Shaden Network is a scalable multi-chain, multi-virtual machine contract hub on Kusama. What do we mean with this with multi-chain is that we will have bridges with other layer one ecosystems like Ethereum, um, Polygon, Avalanche, and so on. A multi-virtual machine is mean we, what do you mean with this is that you can as a developer deploy Solidity smart contracts through EVM, or you can deploy your Ink smart contracts with WebAssembly smart contracts on our platform, as well as we offer layer two solutions for developers who want to use those solutions as well. So we our network nat natively supports cross virtual machine communication. This means that it's possible for EVM smart contracts, so smart contracts built with Solidity or Viper to call contracts built with WebAssembly. And this is something unique that we have in our ecosystem as well. And this has all been in place from day one. So in our testnet, Dusty, everything is already set in place for everyone to test out. Now on Shade, everything will be enrolled um, step by step. So it's very important to look to our roadmap to see where we are at this stage. So now we just um, unlocked the transactions. We are now um, on the market. Next week or the end of next week, we will launch our EVM module. And later on, there will be the WebAssembly uh, module as well, DAP staking and so on. So please follow our roadmap in case um, you for being updated about our ecosystem. 
another question was about our tokenomics. A lot of people and a lot of new members in our community are asking about our tokenomics. And one main question is, what is the circulation supply? What is the market cap? Um, and so on. So the initial token supply is 70 million, but there is a 10% inflation every year, and you have to take this in consideration as well. So the total supply of um, shading tokens will be increased every year. Okay, so at every block, actually, there is extra tokens that will be uh, minted. The circulation supply at this stage is over 30%. It's not possible to put uh, an exact number on this because a lot of our uh, participants in the cloud loan, their tokens are still locked, but through vesting at every block, some tokens will be released. So for us, it's not possible to put a number on this. And that's why I left the market cap also blank because for the market cap, you need to know the exact number of the circulation supply and you multiply it by the market price. Because the circulation supply is now um, not possible for us to, to say, but you can calculate it if you want. Um, that's why we just say it's plus 30%. But we are talking now with Core Market Cap as well as Congecco. They are doing everything in their back end as well to make the calculations available. So as soon as it's ready to go, it will be uh, it will be going live on Core Market Cap and Congecco. It just takes some time before it can set in place. So in the upcoming weeks, this will be available on those. Um, listing websites this is a brief um a brief overview about our ecosystem because uh, some of the questions was um, what projects are expected on on Shiden. so here you got like an overview of about our in infrastructure partners not everyone is on this list because we are still talking with other projects as well made like for example the graph and things like that so not every infrastructure partner is listed here. We have a layer one blockchain that are well known, like Usama, Polkadot, the Cosmos, and Ethereum. All the available tools for developers are also mentioned here, wallets, um, exchanges. Um, today, we will add Kraken as well here. Some DeFi products, NFT, power chains, and our supporters, our backers for our ecosystem. We don't announce every project that is building in our ecosystem so this graphic is changing all the time so how you can keep updates about our ecosystem just follow us on twitter as well as in our community and then you will be informed with all the latest updates regarding projects joining or building in our ecosystem why we do this actually because we are not like a marketing company we are focusing on technology and we want to create first our product instead of um, spending our resources on marketing at this point. Another question was about dApp staking. This is an image that will explain how dApp staking works. It's very simplified. So meaning we have like the operator, the operator is the developer. So the developer deploys a smart contract on a star ecosystem on Shaden. Then you as a user can use your Shaden tokens, your SDN tokens, and nominate that smart contracts. And with the block rewards in our ecosystem, the developer will earn some native tokens, as well as you as the staker will also get rewards for staking on that smart contract. How it will look like in our platform. So when our platform is live, it's now still in beta version, but when it's ready on mainnet and dApp staking is available, it will look like this. So now we just put some random um, dApps here like Polkadot.js, Subscan and Metamask. So let's say um, Polkadot enables their smart contracts on us and they want to get rewards for that as well for all their developments, they can just put their smart contract to a platform, then users can start staking on them. Um, then you can claim your rewards as well, or you can change it by adding more native tokens on the contract or uh, redraw some native tokens as well. So this is a great incentivize, not only for the users, but also for the developers, because 50% of every block reward will go to dApp staking, 40% will go to the developers and 10% will go to the nominators. So this will give you the same 
rewards as staking on validators or nodes and things like that. So we recommend to use DAP staking because this is some unique feature in our ecosystem and you not only will get rewards, but at the same time you provide um, a basic income for the developers who are actually spending a lot of their, their, their development time on creating a great DAP for the community. So in case your DAP is here on this list, we recommend you to stake your native tokens on this and earn some rewards for this and at the same time support your favorite project. Yeah, and also I would like to add one comment. So in our token economics, we can stake token on dApps. This means the more dApps are created in the ecosystem, the more token will be locked on the network as well as dApps. So this means the more token, the more dApps are created, the less the liquidity is. So this is the beauty of our token economics. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Yes, and this will also help um, to get like a healthy market price and a healthy market ecosystem as well. So some other questions that we got from the community that I want to talk about is how to see shade and tokens if you already hold, P hold PLM tokens. Um, I recommend you to go to our YouTube channel. If you go to the link below on this slide, like link three dot um, slash star network, you will see a, um, the, the link to our YouTube channel. In our YouTube channel, we recently had like a new video. Um, so to end, I were talking about proof of stake. This video will also explain how you could get shading tokens if you are already a holder of a PLM tokens through our log props. When staking on Shaden, soon we will launch our depth staking and then this will be available. Um, you can already start staking if you set up a collator on a network. Um, to become a collator, you can learn more if you go to our documentation. But to become an collator, you need to bound some certain amount of shading tokens. So be aware that it's not that you can start staking just by deploying a node. So you need to have like staking available, uh, shading available to bound to your collator. Staking on, on centralized exchanges. At this point, this is not possible now, but we are talking with exchanges to make this happen. This is on their timeline, not on our timeline, so we have to wait for them as well. We are also talking with other pro uh, projects like Beware Labs and Moonstake and B2P. They will create also staking mechanisms to help um, the community to stake then to stake Shiden tokens. Um, on collators as well. So we are talking and we, we are looking for solutions for our community as well. When will this be possible? As soon as it's available, of course. What will happen if we fail to achieve a slot on Polkadot for a star? Um, we were one of the first to be connected on Kusama. We have proven ourselves to be like a solid partner for the ecosystem. And we are already working on our strategy, um, on our and I say it's on our strategy for the poker at auctions and we will do our best to win one and we don't we don't talk about failing because we believe that we have like a solid project going on and we believe that we will get that slot on poker as well when does the poker pirate chain auction starts this is something that we don't know. This is something that nobody knows at this point. Maybe Gavin Woods, but I doubt it because there's still a lot of developments going on. We still need to go to the second phase of the Kusama parachain auctions. Um, after this, we hope it will be announced um, very soon, but we don't know. It all depends on Parity and Web3 Foundation. So if you want to get all the updates, it's best to follow them because we don't know the date as well. We will know it at the same time you will know it. So yeah, very excited on, on our part as well. But we are ready to go. If it's um, announced, we will go for that one of the first slot as well. Uh, so the other uh, question is that uh, when uh, when Binance, when Coinbase, uh, when, uh, when OK, uh, we we do not know the answer, yeah. So even if we know, we cannot tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's correct. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Even we know the date of the exchanges, it, it is not possible to say because of the NDA, non-disclosure agreement. Yes, that's correct. So the moment 
And it's also on their timeline as well, not on our timeline. So if they are ready to announce and if they are ready to, to get the shading tokens on their chains, they will make the announcements and we will uh, cooperate with them as well to make our announcements for this. But as long as they don't announce it, we can't say anything. And um, to be honest, we also don't know the dates for the upcoming uh, exchanges at this point. We have an estimation, but let's wait and see. Uh, just follow us on our socials, just follow us on Telegram, Discord and everything. When we know a date, you guys will know a date or not. When we may say a date, you will know the date. Let me put it like this. Okay, everyone, thanks a lot for joining and listening to all the questions. If you have any other questions, we will host like every bi-weekly uh, voice AMA on Telegram. So it will be announced and feel free to jump in and ask your questions to me or Sota or to Tiger during the voice AMA. And if you can't find, um, or if you have a question and it's not in this video, I have a great suggestion. Just go to Telegram, press the search button and type in some keywords and nine of, out of 10, you will find your answer. Um, thanks a lot for listening and watching and uh, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.